But you are breaking your voice is breaking, um, you know, and uh, I think you need to see that. Uh, no, that's, I was just checking. Is it okay now? I mean, uh, no, it is it... breaking. Uh, I think maybe two devices are on. Just check out. <clears throat> uh, no, ma'am. Let me just uh, just give me two minutes. I'll just put on the Wi-Fi then. I'll just put on the Wi-Fi. Please put on the Wi-Fi. You can use the um, Shikshayat and Wi-Fi. <clears throat> Good morning, madam. Good morning. Good morning to everyone. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Is it done, uh, Ms. Madhushri? Yes, ma'am, just uh, starting in just a few seconds. Am I audible now, ma'am? Yes, yes, much better. Thank you. Yes, uh, I'm extremely sorry. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this very special session on undergraduate new age specializations by Calcutta Business School Center of Excellence. Every year, CPS reaches up to thousands of students in both cities as well as remote villages to help them make the right career decisions and grooms them for success. And we call this initiative awakening a path to happiness. Today's session is aimed at identifying the latest avenues after class 12 that students may pursue. We start the session with our humble regards to Mr. S.K. Birla, President of Shikshayat Foundation, Board of Governors, Honorable Trustees, Core Committee members of CBS. We are honored to have the kind presence of Ms. Bratati Bhattacharya, Secretary General and CEO of Shikshayatan Foundation and Shri Shikshayatan School, Mrs. Sangeeta Tandon, Principal Shri Shikshayatan School, and Dr. Vijay Nimbalkar, Principal Calcutta Business School. Our esteemed speakers for today are Mrs. Pragya Viswas, Chief Placement Officer, Calcutta Business School, Mrs. Devan Chidatta, Research Associate, Calcutta Business School, and Professor Sanjeev Biswas, Assistant Professor, Calcutta Business School, who will be moderating this session today. Also joining us me today are the faculty members and students of Calcutta Business School and students and teachers of Sri Shikshagan School. I now request Dr. Nimbalkar to please deliver the welcome address. 
good morning madam bhattacharya uh, good morning madam tandon and uh, my dear colleagues a very good morning and warm welcome to all the students i see here many students like i can say like i can see like dipika dibisha vidisha is there devya is also there right so uh, first of all i must welcome you and thank you so much uh, though you are having examinations something like that and busy but you gave your valuable time for this uh, you know new age career counseling session now why we call it as new age career counseling session because you'll understand generally after 12th you know we go for bcom ba bsc something like that if we are really you know uh, planned our career then might we go for uh, you know medicine and engineering but to 90% of the students this problem is really important that what kind of career should i pursue so as you know the world has changed the time has changed right we are not in 1900 century or 1947 1950 but we are in this 2022 so the world has changed very rapidly see you might have heard about industry 1.0 but today we are in the industry 4.0 so everything has changed so why not your career should get something new right that's why we are calling it as a new age and when i talk to you about bcom ba bsc so are they new no they are very old right so what happens in order to make a career and take it to new heights we need to have something new and that's why calcutta business school brings you the bba in business analytics in collaboration with macau now here you would say what is different in business analytics and why should i go for it so you will see the industry around you see service industry you see manufacturing industry you see you know uh, service sector manufacturing sector and the managers working there right so when you want to be a manager what happens your business will have many problems one analytics means if you are analytical in your thinking you will think about solution to a particular problem in industry exactly that happens industry has got a lot of data industry generates a lot of data just one example i'll give you let's say you go to the south city mall today right and you see number of people it is flooded with number of people and then i need to use that data for my business decisions like you know if i want to launch something discount or some kind of marketing scheme so in short whenever the business has got some problems but the data is there i can use that data to take decisions which will make my business much better this is where the data analytics or we can say the business analytics as it deals with business the name is business analytics it deals with so i welcome each one of you and not only welcome i would urge you to look forward to your career make it bright happening with the help of bba business analytics offered by calcutta business school and as i said i urge so do take control of your career and think something about business analytics course offered by your very own calcutta business school so with this note i would like to hand over the session to sanjeev sir the banshi madam and you will see here why we have the chief placement officer because one is fine you have a new age course now but what about the placements what about the packages and what about the industry which will employ you so that exactly madam pragya will take you through so i welcome again each one of you and look forward to see you soon at calcutta business school thank you have a great time thank you sir i now request uh, mrs bhattacharya to please say a few words as the keynote address thank you a very good morning to uh, professor nimbalkar uh, mrs sangeeta tandon uh, professor biswas ms pragya uh, biswas all my uh, you know other colleagues at calcutta business school a unit of shikshayatan foundation every faculty member who has joined from sri shikshayatan school and my very 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 dear students well you know already dr nimbalkar has mentioned something which i thought of mentioning but he has mentioned that it is regarding the fourth industrial revolution the fourth industrial revolution has basically changed the whole world 
and we wouldn't even think you know about you know four years back what are the jobs that would be available today and if you see that you know jobs has changed and if jobs change then we also need to change so uh, you know the iot you know what is called the internet of things which has come forward and uh, calcutta business school basically does this career counseling for the students which they have called awakening a path to happiness why does it give us happiness because if you know which road to choose definitely end of the day you feel happy and that is why if you recall when you were a small child you know you were given something called the dots and your parents would say or your teacher would say join the dots and when you join the dots you basically get some picture and we are exactly trying to do that we try we are trying to tell you that join those dots and so that you can move forward so very briefly i'll just tell you that you know we have to do continuous course correction what is this course correction yes you know you may pick up a subject today and you can realize that maybe that subject whether that subject is actually bringing out gains to you or not and if it is not then you keep changing it and there's nothing wrong in changing and to do that what will you do you have to look at your strengths if you look at your strengths what will this tell you that you know you can effortlessly work towards these strengths and you can enjoy these strengths so today say i take up a subject like chemistry is that my strength if it is my strength let me tell you that yes you can pick up something related to chemistry if i have a you know quality of say speaking well then i can take up a you know topic you know or a subject which helps me allows me to you know talk to people and you know i can go into media i can go into journalism i can go into other motivational speaking because the careers have really changed you know people are becoming coaches and as all already been mentioned you know there are subject like data analytics digital marketing sports management even management you know so there are many things which are there for you and if i mention to you one of the industrialist is i'm sure you must have heard about him dhirubhai ambani you know dhirubhai ambani was an opportunist he would pick up anything that came in front of him he also sold pakoras because he thought there was an opportunity to you know get down to people and make money out of it he also collected coins and he sold those coins to make money so you have to keep on discovering and let me tell you if today you pick up a job why do you pick up a job and why are you paid a salary you are paid a salary because it is a reward because you can solve certain problems and why can you solve the problems you can solve the problems because you're working on your strengths you're working on a career you're working you've picked up the right career and you're moving forward and in this context let me tell you children do not compare yourself what you see in the social media do not compare yourself with others compare yourself only with yourself because it is a process and you will discover yourself your strengths and you try to see what is best for you and and what you see in the social media let me tell you is just a tip of a iceberg and that is not real and some people are very good in the academic world but not always in the real world so many people who are in the top bracket may not be so well when they are going into the real world because in the real world there are a whole lot of things that matter it is not within that you know classroom situation and today calcutta business schools we have experts you know who will be telling you certain areas where they have developed and how that can be beneficial in your future well without dragging too much within this let me tell you look for opportunities the grass may appear green on the other side but you can make it also green when you grab those opportunities and not sit back within a bubble so you know one says that you have to go outside the bubble so that you can make the best out of it happy bodh purnima 
and you know the name also says happy awakening our society really needs people to go out of this crisis utilize every opportunity to move forward thank you once again for joining enjoy this session thank you ma'am and finally i request uh, mrs sandan to please address her students before we go on to the main session Okay, Ms. Paul. Uh, good morning, Mrs. Bhattacharya, Professor Dr. Nimbalkar, and all the faculty members from CBS, along with the teachers of Shri Shikshatan School and the students who have joined to listen to this webinar. Now, mainly since it is Shri Shikshatan School students, so I'll address them. Well, you all are aware at Shri Shikshatan School, we have taken it. taken it upon us that when you are in plus 2 that is in classes 11 and 12 we will see to it that whole lot of universities and colleges we bring forth for you for you to make career choices basically you are not going for a career at this juncture is just a transition from school to college or to a university now these are very interesting times the education sector has actually opened up if you talk about yester year in yester year so many opportunities were not present so many courses were also not there basically you could start from one hand fingers of one hand and end at the other one and those were the typical stereotype kind of courses which one had to go for now when life has become so interesting and we know there are courses waiting for you as per your intellect abilities capabilities and your passion why should you not be aware of them and why should you not take them up so as we bring forth so many universities and colleges closer home we have our own college over there as one of the units many a times you have spoken about it that we are a group school where a uh, an organization under shikshatan foundation from where from lower kg to post graduate degree if you went up you can complete your entire education over here by joining the school you have shown your faith in the in our institution and i'm sure by joining the college also you will do the same you know by and large things remain the same with respect to facilities faculty growth and development this is also the age where lot of networking is to be done lot of exposure is required and that is what cbs will provide for you well we are not trying to say that you join this course or that course it's for you to decide what you are going to do in life but today we just bring forth this these courses and listen to them very carefully because you have to keep backup plans actual plan don't put all your eggs in one basket think of what more you can do and at the end of this webinar i'm sure there's going to be a good take away so thank you so much for uh, having this webinar uh, dr nibalkar uh, we are really grateful to you go thank ahead uh, ms pal and address our students through the panelist thank you so much thank you ma'am good day thank you ma'am thank you for you know thank you for giving us this opportunity to address them so calcutta business school is a residential institute keeping in mind the need for management education in east of india and being an autonomous institution it offers aict approved cgdm courses designed as per the latest industry needs by an expert team of faculty and advisors comprising of both renowned academicians and industry leaders and has recently introduced a bpa in business analytics course which principal sir has mentioned this is in collaboration with macau and representing calcutta business school today are three key members we have mrs pramya biswas chief placement officer she has 12 years of experience in the field of training placements and corporate relations she has worked with majority of these schools and educational institutions in west bengal She is also a certified clinical hypnotherapist and a neurocognitive expert. Mrs. Devanshi Datta has completed her master's in industrial management from 
uh, Indian Institute of Technology, Varanasi, in the 2017. She has expertise in the fields of computational modeling, data analytics, risk and uncertainty analysis, and statistics. She has worked in projects under government organizations like Society for Applied Microwave, Microwave Electronics Engineering and Research, IIT Bombay, and Department of Atomic Energy, Board of Research in Nuclear Sciences. To her credit, she has many publications in reputed journals. And finally, Professor Sanjeev Biswas, Assistant Professor and Mentor to hundreds of BSO students. Professor Sanjeev Biswas has a working experience of 18 years in industry and academia. He has published and presented more than 40 research articles in reputed national and international journals and conferences, both in India and abroad. His research interests include multi-criteria decision-making models and their applications in managerial decision-making, multivariate analysis, logistics and supply chain management, sustainability, fuzzy logic, and machine learning. And I now request Professor Biswas to please take the session forward. Thank you, uh, Madam Pal. Am I audible? Yes, sir. First of all, uh, good morning to respected Mrs. Bhattati Bhattacharya, core committee member, Calcutta Business School, Dr. Vijay Nimbalkar, Principal, Calcutta Business School, Madam Sangeeta Tandon, Principal, Shikshayatan School, my faculty colleagues from Shikshayatan School, College, and our CBS uh, who are joining, who have joined this session, and my dear students. It is a very uh, fortunate moment for us to discuss about uh, new age career specialization, taking clue from the inaugural address by Dr. Nimbalkar and Madam Bhattacharya. I just remind you that yes, we are in the industry 4.0 age and we are heading towards society 5.0, the age which is characterized by personification. Personification means differentiations, customization. Customization not only in the industrial products or services, at the same time, customization in personal needs. Because on one hand, we are the customer of some product and services. On the other hand, we are providing the services and products to the customer itself. So this, in this age, we call it as an amalgamation of three things. One is the technology, one is the psychology, and another is the sociology. So it's an amalgamation of these three things that makes this age so special and so important. And perhaps that has change the entire landscape of career options. Because earlier days, those which were the traditional career options are now the, the market has opened up and there are umpteen options available in the marketplace, which we may not be aware of. And that's, that's the reason that this kind of session is being organized. Now, we talk about Business analytics that is already mentioned that there is one of the career options that is available after class 12, one can pursue. Now, when we talk about analytics, you see that something it comes in our mind, it is all about engineering applications. But let me tell you that these applications are so wide that no one can write down in numbers. You talk about medicine, these days, analytics is absolutely important. I am sure that Koka will shed light on the career options and Devangshi, my other panelist, would be discussing on the several options of business analytics. But if you look at the recruitment like Pfizer or uh, Novartis, like companies like that, there are huge applications of analytics in medicine, in medical field, medical science, particularly when we talk about uh, the current age, we have uh, already seen the COVID-19. And uh, during that COVID-19 phase, we are still in the phase already. Uh, we have uh, listened, we have uh, uh, read that genome analysis, this uh, variant analysis, and we have uh, came across the, we have different names like uh, your Omicron, Delta, all these versions came in the marketplace. Now, this is the result of applications of analytical tools and techniques. 
they that used infected cases were analyzed using sophisticated algorithms and these results come out as the classification of the variants of these things now talk about this climate change you see that these days uh, climate is a very important aspect not only for business but also for society now this climate analytics is one of the area where in absolute applications of analytics is there now you talk about we belong to calcutta business school so obviously we teach the subjects like management so wherein uh, we find that analytics is an integral part as a matter of fact we call information is a strategic asset for any organization so here we have many applications i just before i get into the session in detail i just tell you that a very interesting area which is coming up is the fashion analyst analytics i mean these days using the facebook or social media posting like likings of the or sharing of the images or pages people try to uh, guess that what would be the coming age fashion and accordingly they prepare the clothes or they advertise this uh, fashion clothes in that yeah. manner so fashion analytics is one of the idea and the term terminology which is popularly used in the marketplace is called facebook profit so facebook profit is a very common terminology that is used in the market so anyway that these things would be discussed uh, in detail during the sessions and what are the job opportunities available that would be surely explained in coming to the business analytics uh, course offered by calcutta with school in collaboration with macout it is actually a three years course with heavy emphasis on the fundamental of data analytics and its various applications the fundamentals of machine learning and artificial intelligence tools are being covered at the same time the applications and the the new age uh, things like blockchain internet of things cryptocurrency then uh, your network security all these things are covered in this area and the, this course is taught at calcutta business school in collaboration with macout and alongside that there are heavy emphasis on that the supporting uh, courses like simulations and application of these techniques in real life uh, scenario through simulations cases offered by harvard business school aigma biz lab and we are having exposures to global uh, experts through our collaboration and linkage with uh, the universities and reputed institutes in us europe and many other places like georgia state university eastern michigan state university american business school like many other colleges and institutes of qs rank included in the qs ranking and spread worldwide so to start this session with uh, these things i just start with demangshi that what is analytics and <clears throat> why one should start analytics at the very early age after class 12 and what are the progressions and how analytics helps one to become a successful professional thank you uh, mr sanjeev biswas and uh, good morning to one and all present for today's uh, session that is new age career development so to start with so as uh, professor biswas has asked raised the questions on what is business analytics and its uh, future so it can be defined as refining the past or present business data using modern technologies a general business analytics process includes data collection data mining sequence identification forecasting predictive analytics optimization and data visualization every business today produces quite a considerable amount of data in a very specific way so business analytics is providing the platform for analyzing the past data by using the statistical methods and these modern technology this is used to uncover the new insights and make strategic decisions for the future business intelligence a subset of business analytics field plays an important role in the field of business management these values and inputs are then further used to remodel business procedures 
to generate more efficiency and build a productive system. So business analytics has its efficiency since beginning. The unprecedented rise of the internet and information technology has further boosted the performance of business, businesses. With this kind of advancement today, business analytics tools such as statistical analysis software, ClickView, Board, Spunk, Sysense, R, Python, Microsoft Excel, Tableau, Apache Spark, and many more to name give businesses the right direction for the future. So business analytics covers a wide range of courses that acts as a bridge between your bachelor's and master degree, that is BBA and PGDM, to name a few of them like artificial intelligence and deep learning, multivariate data analysis, optimization, business analytics and intelligence, business forecasting, social entrepreneurship, supply chain analytics, marketing analytics. So what are the different business analytics techniques that are used? To name them, or we can segment them in four different ways. I'll start with first the descriptive analytics. This technique describes the past or present situation of the organization activities. Then comes the diagnostic analytics, which discovers the factors or the reasons for the past or the present situations. Then we have predictive analytics, this technique predicts figures and results using a combination of the business analytics tools. And lastly, we have the prescriptive analytics that recommends a specific solution for businesses to drive their growth forward. So let us know the various application of business analytics. Business analytics is now systematically integrated across several applications in the field of supply chain management, customer relationship management, financial management, human resource manufacturing, and even build smart stat strategies for sports too. So what is the importance of it? Business analytics can transform raw data into more valuable inputs to leverage this information into decision making. With these kind of tools, we can have more profound understanding of the primary and the secondary data that is emerging from their activities. This helps businesses refine their procedures further and be more productive. To stay competitive, companies need to be ahead of their peers and have all the latest tool sets to assist their decision making in improving the efficiency as well as generating more profits. Now that we have added more values into learning what is business analytics, let us understand its scope. So business analytics has been applied to a wide variety of application. Descriptive analytics is thoroughly used by businesses to understand the market position in the current scenarios. Meanwhile, predictive and prescriptive analytics are used to find more reliable measures for businesses to propel their growth in a competitive environment. In the last decade, business analytics is one of the leading career choices for professionals with high earning potentials and assisting businesses to drive growth into actionable inputs. So if I put some light for why choosing career in business analytics, the role of business analytics professionals may change accordingly to meet the goals and objectives of the organization. Several individual profiles are closely related with business analytics when dealing with data. Business analytic techniques also help organization personalize customers with more optimized services and even include their feedback to create more profitable products. Large organizations today are now competing to stay top in the markets to by utilizing practical business analytical tools. Companies rely on business analysis to help them make informed business decisions. Through their skills in statistical analysis, professional business analysis can make accurate predictions to improve profitability for business owners. According to Zippa, there are over 2 lakhs business analy analysis in the United States. 71% of these professionals have a bachelor's degree, while 7% of them are with an associate degree. So, so to list a few, there are the top 10 uh, business analyst companies that you can be a part of, that is Cisco Systems, Accenture, Capital One, IBM, Bank of America, Deloitte, Citibank, JP Morgan, United Health Group, and Wells Fargo. You should become a business analyst in 2022 because of the range of opportunities it's offered. You can land a job in healthcare, finance, manufacturing, or sales too. 
The skills of business analysts are crucial for businesses to survive and remain competitive. Thank you so much, sir, for giving this opportunity to put some light on the domain of business analytics and why students should choose it as a career in the upcoming future. Thank you, uh, Devangshi. But uh, I can understand that uh, so many students uh, from class 12 background uh, is attending this session. And whatever technical language you have taught is very, uh, very nicely explained. But they, it seems that uh, they might be getting some kind of idea and something they are thinking that it's maybe a, a kind of thing why the, uh, we are focusing on business analytics. Actually, the street to, for the student, actually the stream is called data analytics. I mean, whenever you have some facts and you translate into some quantifiable observations, it becomes a data. Now, you, the, it is said that we are rich in data. Why we are rich in data? You see that if you look at the penetration rate of smartphones and the internet, even in the rural area, you see data is generated in plenty. As a matter of fact, the figure is 10 to the power 18 bytes per, per day it is generated. Per moment it is generated. It is called quintillion bytes of data is being generated per moment. Now, what do I do with the data? And what kind of data we are generating? We are not only generating structured data that means something is having a format. We are also posting the images. We are sharing videos. We are sharing the chats. So all these are a rich source of information. And since we belong to Calcutta Business School, so we focused first on business analytics. But why business analytics? Because ultimately, if you start your career, it has linked with, it, is, it will be linked with some sort of business sense at the end. Because unless and until it is linked with some sort of business sense, then what is the purpose of working? Now, having said so, uh, you might be uh, wondering, is there any other areas where analytics is used? What if, if I am having a background like psychology, what do I do with this statistical modeling? What do I do with this machine learning algorithms? You see that there is an important job opportunity available in the marketplace. There are like mental health analyst and life coach. Happy, uh, Madam Bhattacharya has mentioned about happiness in life. That is particularly after this COVID-19 when we were divided digitally, socially distant from each other. Mental health has come up as one of the major issue or major concern not only for the organizations, but also for the society, society households. So mental health counselor, mental health coach is an important area for which one can, on individual can start practicing and can, can be an expert in this domain. Now, when I say mental health, it means that it is understanding the mental status or of a person, where which kind of state the, he or she is in. Now, it depends that what is spoken and what is unspoken. So what is spoken, you some ask some questions and you get clue that what is the state of mind. But what is unspoken? The unspoken is basically, if you look at the social media pages of that particular person, you can make out the personal, uh, about lot about the personality of that person. And this social media information is for your information is basically an unstructured information. And if you use some algorithms, some simple algorithm, so these days, even if you do not know the exact methodology of the algorithm, there are certain decision support system which can give you the desired result. And you can make out the idea about the unspoken personality. And that is one area one can apply. Now, as information, is the central thing today. So that's why we are putting major emphasis on business analytics. But apart from that, these analytics are having enormous applications in rural India, rural market. So in CBS, we also offer a specialization in rural management. And there, if you have analytics background or analytics knowledge, you can do wonder. So there are companies, large, large companies, 
recruiting people who are having fair idea about analytics and can work in the rural market. So as it is said that the opportunity lies in the bottom of the pyramid. And in India, where majority uh, people, majority of the people live in rural part, so there are huge opportunities for uh, uh, providing your products and services. And I started with these things that these days, uh, there are you know, I mean, variety of applications of these data science, digital marketing, analytics, and this. I just give you one such small example of augmented or virtual reality. You see that if you, you must have noticed one advertisement given by your Titanite. I mean, the celebrities are giving advertisement wherein uh, you before you select any frame, you can just have a feeling that how you are uh, after wearing this frame, how you look like. So that means that gives you a fair idea about your likings, your choices. And this way, technology has invaded in every facets of the life. And so as information has become so much of important today. Now, apart from information, there are in analytics, there are many other opportunities available in the marketplace. And I'm very much pleased to uh, now call upon Mrs. Pogga Vishavs that who has been working in this field for long years and has uh, expertise in telling you about the placement opportunities or career opportunities right at the class 12 age, then go to P uh, masters, PGTN. And after that, what would be the opportunities, including different sectors with a special emphasis on analytics. Pragya, over to you. Thank you, Professor Viswas. Uh, very welcome to everyone who's watching out here. So as per the question uh, presented by Professor Viswas, I would share one uh, very specific uh, data which will help to create a foundation for understanding the career prospects in the business analytics field. According to uh, McKinsey and Company and NASCOM, data and AI would contribute around 500 billion US dollars to India's GDP by 2025. So if you can understand that 500 billion US dollars, data and AI is going to contribute to India's GDP by 2025, which means this business analytics field is actually growing exponentially and it is viewing with job opportunities. And when a particular sector is growing exponentially and is booming, it is the best time for any aspiring student to create their career path accordingly. So that ultimately the objective of being successful is being achieved by the students. So um, as we know that this career prospects in data analytics or business analytics, it is being like I would say applicable to every other sectors that is available in the industry today. You talk about healthcare, you talk about retail, BFSI, your media and entertainment, automotive, telecom. So all the sectors you check out, analytics is applicable. And when analytics is applicable, automatically job opportunity is there. And the future where every other organization who is taking their decision based on the data analysis, the, it is creating, it's acting as a stepping stone to have diverse job opportunities in the data analytics, in the business analytics field. Apart from that, if I ever talk about some companies, the data analytics, business analytics, the companies, you will, it will range diverse, right from IBM to Amazon to Coca-Cola, Starbucks, etc. So right from BFSI sector to uh, leading to automotive, telecom, all these sectors you have, you go through, you check out, you'll have a job opportunity in the business analytics field. So I'll just uh, state certain um, uh, facts and data which will help you to understand the job opportunities in the sectors and the companies that are there, which actually look for people in the business analytics job. 
industries that i've talked about talked about bfsi which means banking and financial services industry so this sector leading banks you talk about icici bank you talk about hsbc bank you talk about hdfc bank and the big fours like pwc uh, kpmg deloitte uh, you talk about all stand young all these people all these companies hire in the business analytics job role the job role normally revolves like i would say fraud analysis i'll just take some of the factors to make you understand we'll have a detailed detail session later so that you can have a detailed understanding so fraud analysis uh, credit scoring underwriting analysis lifetime value prediction so these are being done in the bfsi sector now if i have to talk about media and entertainment industry media and entertainment sector so youtube hotstar there you talk about root all the leading ott platforms they are booming these days post covid 19 all the ott platforms have grown exponentially and thereby they are using analytics to each and every aspect so that they can make their grow in a better way so the job prospect in the media and entertainment industry if i talk about like they they uh, do customer sentiment analysis so understand that how my audience is responding to the programs that i am broadcasting i am delivering so i'm doing customer sentiment uh, sentiment analysis hyper targeted advertising so when i i need to advertise a particular product i need to understand my audience i need to segment it and then accordingly customized way i have to advertise the products i have to advertise the programs so that i have the maximum viewership we also have a, 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 a particular domain wherein like optimized media scheduling wherein the programs are being scheduled in the proper um, spanning time so that they have the maximum audience viewership that i have already talked about now as professor biswas was uh, telling that in the medicine field i talk about the healthcare in healthcare field post covid 19 it has grown exponentially it is booming like anything so you talk about pfizer you talk about uh, uh, i would say sanofi um, we talk about gsk every leading healthcare in industry health uh, healthcare companies are using analytics they are using analytics to uh, have job with the job roles of like creating customized care now every particular individual would be having a every single set of uh, treatment uh, necessity so they are using analytics to deliver more precise and customized care they also using Uh, analytics for post care monitoring so the uh, service from mere just providing service medicinal service is has grown so much diverse that they are now getting into customized care they are now getting into post care monitoring so that my uh, again the service that i am offering is being on the optimized level now if i talk about on the sector of um, telecom every every leading uh, telecom uh, organizations like airtel vodafone idea jio they are using analytics you talk about how they are using analytics they are using analytics for call detail record analysis so to understand that what my customers are calling they are doing a call detail record analysis so that they can accordingly customize offers and pricing to the uh, customers they serve to so if if i have to summarize that right from one sector to a diverse sector like right from a bfsi sector to a diverse sector like healthcare telecom analytics is present and when we are seeing that a particular job domain is growing or is booming with job opportunities i would say that would be the best time to capitalize on that 
particular booming time and create your career and be successful so that ultimately we do not leave ourselves lagging behind rather we progress with the changing time so that we do not become extinct rather we flow with the course that is there and being successful ultimately over to you professor iswa thank you thank you uh, pogga uh, for highlighting these job opportunities <clears throat> this i mean these days uh, some important jobs are available and i mean interesting job opportunities are available in form of let's say food specialist food stylist i mean the age is such where so much of unconventional job opportunities are available i mean one must have analytical frame of mind the uh, capability to write contents or say the words which is convincing to the listeners and these days these youtube bloggers and this is another profession that is coming out in a big way i just take you one example i mean uh, these days people do not first time go to the specification of mobile phones before buying that they just show see the video call unboxing of the mobile phone and there are some specialists who are available who show you after step by step unboxing of the mobile phone and their modality functionalities and there they uh, give you the first hand rating or first hand review and once you get this review you just consult the specification of the mobile phone given your budget you select the best possible choice and when you uh, give uh, it uh, offer order it on online you will see that there are certain things that are offered in uh, i mean along with the product which you are ordering and that is called recommender system and this recommender system comes from your under, uh, i mean understanding of your you by the company and that is one of the area where a huge job opportunity is available now coming to the other option available like that this these people whom i am talking of is called influencer social marketing influencer and the options like content writing those who are very good at from the arts background and have an imaginative mind and has a and have a good uh, analytical power they can go for content writing because the world is moving on digital space and so as the uh, import uh, and the importance of content is very important these days the the way you articulate the way you present your thoughts and your products and services and to the market that plays a very crucial role in getting uh, you the success so content marketing is one of the idea there are options like uh, celebrity manager i mean i am sure that you must have heard the, uh, the incident of mr aryan khan the son of mr sharukh khan and there are there is a lady called mrs pooja dadlani whose name came out in the uh, newspaper very often during last year and this pooja dadlani is a celebrity manager of mr sharukh khan i mean this celebrity manager is required by the eminent personalities in sports in uh, cinema and in other fields where their role is not only to endorse the brand to to, to i mean to help the celebrity to uh, value their brand and and help them to uh, manage their funds so this celebrity management is an important area now having said so the most important thing is that the two things are important one is called insight and one is called intuition the intuition is based on your capability of understanding the uh, the context and insight come how well you have analyzed the whole situation based on evidences it is called evidence based decision making so this that's why this information and and analytics plays a very major role in today's context now proga i will not uh, uh, i will ask you another few questions that you see that analytics is taught at class 12 after class 12 i mean the graduation and analytics is also taught at post graduation so like the other subjects are also the job taught in class 12 
and other as well as after the graduation, post graduate level. Now, what is the nature of job that can be uh, that can uh, that can get uh, the student can get after graduation or after post graduation? Oh, thank you, uh, Professor Viswa. So, um, yes, um, the uh, education for the educational uh, background, to be specific, being offered to UG level students as well as to PG level students. Now, obviously, a UG level student would be working on the foundation level because there, uh, I would say, the mindset is on the preparation level than that of the PG level. With keeping that thing in mind, if my framework, if my foundation is laid in a proper way, I can build the building in a more stronger way in the next level. So coming, uh, coming to the point, apart from the job opportunities, let me tell you one thing. If a student pursue business analytics in the graduation level, the framework, the foundation that he or she is creating for herself or himself would help him or her to create a proper and a strong building in the PG level. It will be easy transition for that UG guy with having a background in analytics to, to do a transition in the PG analytics level. So for further um, educational uh, course, uh, pursuing, I would say, uh, if I continue, if I do a course in a particular domain, and if I prepare my framework, it will help me to pursue in the next level in a very smooth way. Now coming to uh, the job opportunities. So a student, a UG level student or a graduate student, obviously cannot expect a very high level job. There are of job opportunities in the data analytics domain wherein the handling the dashboard, handling the dashboard, preparing reports by using various tools, wherein by checking that reports, the top management would be able to like um, create a particular decision. So that job role, I would say, a UG level student would be able to do by completing a course in business analytics. So if, if not in the predictive analytics, obviously a job role in the predictive analytics role has to have a more in-depth knowledge for which you have to pursue a master's degree. But since as Professor uh, Devangshi had told that it has various subsets, this data as science field has various subsets right from data mining to data collection to analysis. At the same time, there is one part which is like dashboard visualization. That is data visualization, wherein you put the data to a particular dashboard tool and that would create various reports which will help the top management to take a particular decision. And that particular job role, all the companies look for people with business analytics background and there is a growing job opportunity in that data visualization domain and people with the business analytics background can create a possible job career professional career for himself or herself in a very smooth way so if i say that data visualization is the domain for the ug people to create a career in the business analytics domain so over Thank you, Prokka. Yeah, I would just like to mention that as students, we have put up all the information in the chat box. If you have any queries, please ask so that our uh, faculty members may answer them as and when they are discussing these things. Thank you. So thank you, uh, uh, Madam Modusi. So as a matter of fact, that why we are harping on this career in business analytics, you see, management is one such domain that convert that is a convergent area of many such domains. So if, irrespective that you are coming from arts, you are coming from science, you are coming from commerce. So the definition of management science over the years has changed completely. Earlier, it was uh, meant like commerce and management. Those who were in commerce, management is for them. But now, given these varying job opportunities and uh, this 
wide horizon of uh, career options, management is a, such a domain where from many domain, diverse background, you can join. And as Pragya said, that the professionals with business analytics background has many options in the marketplace to start with, start their career. Now, as uh, Piero said that, uh, as Piero reminded me, that it's a time to go for the student's question. And thank you, Piero, for reminding me because it is such a important topic and very really interesting discussion that uh, sometimes we forget to uh, put a uh, full stop mark and allow the participants to ask questions. Thank you for reminding me. Now it's my night, my, it's now my turn to invite the students to raise their questions. But before that, let me uh, request them to think their questions and uh, put it down uh, in a proper manner. Meanwhile, I request our technical team to play a very small video of our beautiful campus, Calcutta Business School. Sunil, if you just play the video. If excelling is your essence, then you are welcome to Calcutta Business School. Center of Excellence. Centered on Excellence. It all started in the year 1920, when some eminent industrialists of Kolkata founded the Marwari Balika Vidyalaya. Later, in 1954, Sri Shikshathan School was founded, and in 1955, Sri Shikshathan College came into being with the objective of further propagating quality education to girls. All these institutions have continued to excel under the management of the Shikshathan Foundation. It has been guided by industrialists like President Mr. S. K. Birla, Director Emeritus, Birla Brothers Private Limited, Mr. Siddharth Birla, Vice President. Mr. G. K. Khaitan, Trustee and President of Shikshatan College, Mr. Aris Goinka, Trustee and MD of Imami Group and many other reputed industrialists. The Secretary General of the Foundation is Mrs. Brothuti Bhattacharya. Greetings. I would like to speak a few words about our institution, the Shikshatan Foundation. The year was 1920 when some of my forefathers uh, thought that female education needed to be propagated much more actively than was the custom in those days. And we donated from our family two buildings in the heart of Bada Bazaar uh, for, the girl, for the girl's child to be educated there. That institution is still working. The latest addition to our bouquet of institutions has been the Calcutta Business School, which was started a few years ago uh, on a 15-acre plot of land and uh, not very far away from IIM Calcutta. Calcutta Business School offers an AICTE-approved, autonomous, two-year full-time residential program on postgraduate diploma in management majoring in subjects like finance, marketing, IT, operations and human resource. But it's the unique cluster of courses that sets it apart. Interactive and intuitive games like management game and stock market simulation game. It also puts heavy emphasis on data handling and business analytics and uses databases and software like CMIE Prowess, Metastock, R and SAP. Kolkata is the city of joy. It is the cultural capital of India, a city which has its soulful embodiment of culture, love, mystery, respect and enthusiasm. A city that upholds a perfect juxtaposition between the old world and the modern one. 
It has given us many Nobel laureates over the years. It has iconic institutes like the Calcutta University, the National Library, Presidency University, Bishop Bharati, IIM Calcutta and many such legendary institutes. Calcutta Business Schools AICTE approved PGDM program is carrying forward this rich legacy of Kolkata. Thank you. Uh, in addition to the courses offered by Calcutta Business School, like BBA in Business Analytics, Data Science, Digital Marketing, and also PGTM two years full time AICT approved autonomous postgraduate diploma in management with eight specializations, including business analytics. CBS also uh, offers uh, under Sikshayatan Foundation a finishing school wherein the objective is to make uh, the person acquainted with the professional skills in terms of numerical abilities, analytical reasoning abilities, vocational abilities, writing skills. So CBS Finishing School aims to sharp the competency or build the competency of the students to crack professional examination and to prepare for the organizations. So I would, uh, now take a few questions. Uh, if you have written in the chat box, I can read out. And you can have you can visit www.calcuttabusinessschool.org or the website of Shikshayatan Foundation for knowing get details about the courses, including the finishing school. Uh, the first uh, registration to first month is free for the students who are attending the finishing school. So if you have any questions, please write in the chat box so that we can take these questions. Uh, or else uh, you can, uh, uh, Piero ma'am, can the students be allowed to speak if they want to ask questions directly? Some students, yes, if they raise hands. They may, they may raise their hands and we can- Yes, like, yes. Can so, so students, you, may you can raise your hand so that we allow you to ask the questions to the panel members. If you have any queries, we are happy to answer those questions. So either you can write in the chat box or you can ask the questions directly by raising your hand. So I encourage you to ask questions. If you have any queries, any uh, questions in your mind, please feel free to come forward and ask the question. Because the more you ask the questions, the more will be the topic clear to you. Over here, as I had mentioned uh, in the chat box as well, mathematics is not mandatory. We do find it desirable that you should have mathematics for BBA and business analytics, but it is not mandatory. So principal ma'am had uh, you know, showed this concern that a lot of students uh, want to do BBA but don't have mathematics. So for all of you, you can go ahead with this. For the fees and everything, it is very reasonable. You can find out on the website as well as download the brochure. Okay, and uh, for anything, you can uh, chat it or write down on the chat box and we will be happy to answer. So actually it is the fee is 2.5 lakhs for the three years. And the process of application is you just uh, fill up the form and you have to appear for a PI round, an initial screening round. And after that, if you found to be suitable for this course, it's not that, as Madam said, it's not that that you have mathematics, you will be automatically selected. It's that all about whatever we have discussed during the last one hour or so, that you require to have analytical frame of mind and right attitude to learn this topic and apply. So this kind of things we basically look for, leadership qualities. So if you have that, you can always pursue this course in business analytics or data analytics. Now, uh, if you, uh, I also encourage you to ask questions because you, have, uh, you may have many questions in your mind just go and uh, just come forward and ask the question. We are here to answer your questions. You can also uh, uh, write, the, write to us. We would be happily answering your questions. But right now, the panel members are available. 
we are here so it, we encourage you to ask questions if you have any so i can see one question in the q a yes. uh, section what are the scholarship opportunities for undergraduate programs if you can pick it up is that we offer uh, merit based scholarship options are there so and also uh, this special scholarship options are there for extra curricular and co curricular activities that is somebody who may be very good at sports management and a national level or state level player we can also offer scholarship for that apart from merit based scholarship and also uh, there are options like when you perform and top 3 ranks of first second third ranks there are options of these these the options are in detail mentioned in the website so i advise you to go to the website detail you will find the detail information the website is w uh, i request we are to write type the website email url in the chat box so that they can refer to the website so sure, sir I'm, i'm just putting up the website as well as the phone number so they can uh, okay yeah. so if you have any subject specific questions or any other questions if you have you can ask otherwise every uh, nice session has to have an end so we have to just formally close down the session so it is our privilege to have or uh, this uh, opportunity to conduct the session on new age career specializations on behalf of calcutta with the school and my uh, faculty panelists and co panel members i express our sincere gratitude and thanks to our respected core committee members for constantly motivating us to organize such kind of uh, or sessions i express my thanks to dr vijay nimbalkar our principal for supporting us and motivating us dr shubendu mojumdar and my other colleagues like uh, dr pr bhattacharya uh, professor aparita shanna was a neha joshi devangshi datta all have been supported to organize this kind of sessions for the cause of uh, propagating education and create awareness among the young minds and i also sincerely thank uh, mrs sangeeta tandon principal sikshayatan school for uh, allowing us to conduct such kind of sessions and all the teachers of sikshayatan school and finally i would be failing in my duty if i do not express my deep thanks to all the participate dear students you have been so patiently hand attending these sessions for which the session has become so en uh, enjoyable and interesting so thank you all see you uh, want to see you soon thank you everyone